Hey everybody, John here with Big Rig Outdoors. I've got a uh, little bit of a bow review for you guys. Um, I just received this one in the mail a few days ago. Uh, my shooting's probably not going to be all that great today. I've got a problem with my shoulder. It's been really bothering me today. So I've been having a bit of a hard time with my release and, and getting a good anchor. Uh, I think I've tore a, a muscle or something, maybe just pinched a nerve. But uh, regardless, it doesn't diminish how awesome this bow is for its price range. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get into it. This one here, you can get it on Amazon for $112. I got mine on the Black Friday sale, so I got it for like 100 bucks. But this one right here is the Sino Art uh, Takedown Hunting Recurve Bow with a Metal Riser. If you remember the um, the old Hoyt Buffalo with the bridged riser, that's very similar to what this bow looks like. I mean, it looks dead on a Hoyt Buffalo, but for a hundred bucks. And this is it right here. You see the bridged riser right there. This thing is sweet. The downside to it though, because this big metal riser, it is heavy um it's a 62 inch yeah 62 inch uh bow this thing is slick because of the metal riser you guaranteed cut past center this thing shoots amazing uh when i first got it i went outside and uh with just the the string that came with it and shot an amazing group uh without even trying at 20 yards a little bit of stuff stuck in my velcro there uh, but i mean for a hundred bucks this thing is a really good deal uh, it is maple uh limbs maple core limbs it's not the fastest recurve i've ever shot of course remember i do have a 27 to 27 and a half inch draw link uh, so you kind of got to take speed with a grain of salt i usually most of my bows usually shoot around 250 or sorry 155 to about 180 feet per second on some of my higher end bows. Uh, so I, I usually don't get a speed demon with my draw length anyways. Uh, but I mean, this thing just shoots really good. I'll try to roll in some footage from earlier uh, in the backyard, if I haven't already done it by now, of how well this thing shoots. I mean, even with my shoulder issue today, I'm still shooting fairly well. I do have a uh, 3D pig target out here with me uh, in the woods. I'm probably gonna shoot at it a little bit, but please keep in mind that the arrows that I have are not spined correct for this bow. Uh, I've got a delay issue with the US Postal Service for my uh, new arrows that are coming in. But this thing, I mean, yes, it's heavy, especially with quiver on it, but it shoots really well. This one here also has the uh, uh, riser mount, or it's tapped. The riser is tapped and drilled. Uh, also, if you want to put a stabilizer, bow fishing reel, flashlight, something like that on there, you can do that with this one here as well. You can see the uh, drilled hole there for it. Now this thing is gonna come with just a basic little screw-in uh, arrow rest. I don't like those for a bow like this. I prefer to shoot off the shelf. So with that being said, because I didn't have any uh, uh, bow shelf material, I just took some really soft Velcro and that had you know the adhesive back Velcro, put it on here just to get through for the, for the day. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna change it. It's shooting really well like that. Uh, you might be able to see it there on the riser where I've got velcro there and the velcro on the shelf itself but overall i mean this this bow shoots really well but i know you guys don't want to sit here and listen to me jabber on about it so i'm gonna shoot a couple of arrows here in a moment but i do have to say again for 112 dollars and you might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere that's just off of amazon where i ordered mine uh, you can usually get a little bit better deal if you order directly from the manufacturer like I did with the uh, 
uh, black hunter limbs that I just got in a few months ago. Uh, you can get them a little bit cheaper if you order directly from them. Of course, with the coronavirus, you got to take that into account. Uh, they might delay shipping, but you know it is what it is. But again, this is an awesome bow for what it is, for the price range. I, I'd actually say this would be the better pick than the uh, Black Hunter or the Samic Sage, uh, for, for a beginner that is, because you can do whatever discipline you want, be it field archery, traditional, instinctive, string walking, you can put sights on, whatever you want. Uh, but again, it is a heavy bow. and a metal riser so it's going to be a little bit colder in the winter you know on those really cold days i am going to try to use this bow in an upcoming deer hunt if i get the time off i might be able to slip out in the woods tomorrow and do a little bit of uh, hunting with it tomorrow and if i feel up to it i might try to take the camera with me so not going to say that there is a hunting video but there might be a hunting video uh coming soon i'm i'm Matter of fact, I'm just going to say no, there's not. But regardless, let's get into some shooting. There we go. Hey, like I said, guys, my shoulder's really bothering me. I'm trying to get down out of here out of the sun. Uh, but like I said, my shoulder's really bothering me. So, my shooting is nowhere near what I can normally do. I'm just really having a hard time holding that anchor you know, this bow is, like I said, it's pretty heavy and with my shoulder hurting, I just, I can't hold it steady. That's, uh, of course I shoot fast anyways, uh, but I'm more of a snap shooter. But regardless, with my shoulder hurting, I just, I really can't do much with this bow right now. I, I can't do it justice, I should say. It's a really good shooting bow. Um, I mean, I, I couldn't be happier with what I paid for it especially compared to the other bow which was a little bit more expensive but uh the review was going to be coming out next week more than likely on it but regardless this is a great bow i mean for the money yes it is heavy and it's maple core limbs so you're going to have to contend with that you know this ain't a bamboo core it's going to give you you know the full potential of a bow of this length but regardless it's still a great shooting bow uh, when I get back down to the house, I might get the chronograph out if my shoulder can hold up and uh, see what kind of speed we can actually get out of this boat. Let me go get my arrows and uh, we'll head back down to the house. <laughs> 